The subscapularis is located under the scapula and slides smoothly over the rib cage. It is not attached to the rib cage at all. And we can look at it with the rib cage removed. Subscapularis means under the scapula, sub means under, and scapularis means the scapula, so subscapularis means under the scapula. So let's look at where this muscle attaches. Uh, it attaches on the large um, plane underneath the scapula, and it goes out to the uh, tubercle on the humerus. When the muscle contracts, it's going to shorten the distance between these two areas. Uh, so if you want to know what a muscle does, you just need to know the origin, the insertion, and then you just imagine what would happen when the, the distances between the two would be shortened. So in this case, it's going to rotate the arm inward, um, and it's also just going to help serve as a brace for the arm. So let's look at this muscle in the context of the other deep muscles, and I'm going to be saying their names, but I would just suggest that you concentrate on subscapularis right now and learn the other names as we get to them. There's the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the teres minor, and the teres major. I thought it'd be useful to see a clay representation of all the muscles as well, so here I am making the subscapularis, um, at least the part of the subscapularis that's sticking out um, from, the, from underneath the scapula. You'll have to imagine it going back all the way underneath.